Well, good morning. Guess what, everybody? Today's the day of my last surgery, my last cornea transplant. And, you know, that means I'm going to have some recovery. Three days flat on my back, and who knows what's going to happen. And, you know, here it is Christmas time, and next week's Christmas. But what a nice, nice Christmas present. So the only thing is, today you're going to get a rerun from last year about being the light during Christmas season. And, you know, that's okay. Because my recovery is really, really exciting. And so here, here. Don't you think it's interesting that I'm going to talk about being the light at Christmas time when, you know, I was about ready to lose my eyesight. Now, how, how wonderful is it that my last surgery is coming right before Christmas and that Although I won't see very well, I'm going to have some quadruple stuff going on just while it heals, that's all. So I'm going to say thank you. Thank you because it's, I'm so excited to get this done and know that going forward, things are going to get better and better and better. And that's how we have to look at life and just be really glad that we have such skilled scientists and doctors to make us all better. So enjoy this rerun, and as you do, pray for the donors and the donors' families because it's a hard time of year for them knowing that they have passed on in just this last two months for one of them. And for today's surgery, they passed on in the last two weeks. I don't say that to be sad because you know what? Wow, for me, when you think about possibly spending your first Christmas in heaven, just two weeks before Christmas, just imagine how wonderful that is. Well, it's hard for me to imagine, because I'm here. I hope you take in this little video and remember to be the light, no matter what your circumstances, because... That's the way we get through, because love always wins. And love comes down at Christmas. So go ahead and enjoy this and soak in the light. Nettie loves you. Bye-bye. Well, hi, everybody. It's Nettie. And guess what? It's Advent. I'm just so excited. It's been kind of a whirlwind two weeks, coming back from Mexico and taking care of my grandkids. And somehow Thanksgiving happened and here we are. So I'm going to do something a little different. I'm gonna do some short videos all through Advent because I've been feeling like it's time for Nettie to slow down just a little bit. And I'm doing so many fun things. We decorated the tree and we got out our nativity and we did that with the grandkids and it was so special. But I'm, I'm feeling especially called to be a place where you can turn to for a little bit of light. And that's lightheartedness, that's humor sometimes, and sometimes it's a place where you need some spiritual light. Just a little oomph. And you know, it's no, it's no secret that Nettie loves God and that Nettie gets her her prompts from God and and you know I'm not sure where everybody's coming from right now but it kind of doesn't matter because we all need the same thing we all need love and light and we all need some healing and so this is the perfect time of year we always talk about slowing down and not buying so much and not getting involved in the hustle and the bustle but you know, you have to be intentional to do that. So I'm just going to say a few words about that today, and then we'll kind of add on to it here and there. And I hope that you share this with your friends, because it's it's really something we all need. And if Nettie can be the one in the world that kind of helps that happen, I'm going to be it. And that's just the way it is. And you know what? We live in a, well, it's not a free country, because sometimes there's interest charges. <laughs> but anyway... You can turn it off if it's not for you, or you can share it with people who might need to hear it, or you can listen to it over and over again. I know 
That sounds like hell. <laughs> oh, who said that? Anyway. Well, Jimmy's here for the first time in a couple of weeks. And he's been doing finals at that that college he's going to. Oh, well, he says it's just a refresher course on YouTube and Facebook and a few of those things that Nettie needs to know. And he's going to teach me. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Light is kind of a common theme when we're talking about so many different things. I mean, in the Bible, for example, it's always about shining your light and being the light to the world and and not fearing darkness, but being willing to sit in the dark and be, be there to sense the light or be the light to somebody else. It is not just the Christian faith. The Christian faith has a lot of that in there, but... If you were to take the time to Google all the different faiths that look at light as somewhat of a light, a life force, there's a lot. Buddhism and, you know, look at the symbolism of the light in, uh, in the Jewish faith. And I, I, I'm not, I don't know a lot about all different faiths, but I know that from the very beginning, the sun was a huge huge message to people. We could not live without sun and we cannot live in the dark for long. So with that in mind, I'm going to share just a couple of things. I don't think it's an accident that during, during Advent this year, the, the United States especially is in kind of a dark place. And it's questionable as to who's right and who's wrong and Who's fighting and who's not and who's on your side? One thing I know for sure is only only love is what's important. And, and in my faith, light is the symbol for love. And so you'll hear Nettie talk about it a lot. But we're told not to hide our light, that to stand firm and shine our light to others so that they can see it too. So that's what Nettie does. And that's what I plan to do forever. Until the day the light takes me home. So, what we need to realize is that there are things we get pulled into. We, we know in our gut when things are right and when they're wrong. But all we have to do is place ourselves in just a small amount of time in a little room on the beach, taking a walk, place ourselves in the light. It is healing. When we do that, we can ponder and discern what is right and what's wrong around us. You think of Star Wars, you know, the dark is in you? Oh, yeah. Well, the dark is in us. It's in every one of us. And, you know, use the force means use the light. Those sabers aren't for nothing. You know, when you give your kids those Star Wars toys, that's not a bad thing. But teach them that, that message in Star Wars that, you know, we need to fight the dark. We need to understand the dark. We need to we need to understand that we counter the dark with light. And don't think of dark always as bad. Because just think, if we didn't have that to understand the goodness of light, where would we be? It's purposeful in our life to have the dark. So, in Advent, the people had been walking in the desert forever. They were in darkness. There's... Dark seemed to overcome everything. And so the symbolism of waiting and lighting candles during Advent is a very purposeful message to understand that goodness is always there and goodness has always been and goodness is coming, that we have the power to shine the light, to follow the star, to be the stars to others. That's what we're here to do. And, you know, there's really nothing funny about that. There isn't. This is a time when Nettie's going to say, we can have a laugh about Santa and the elves and 
all good things. You know, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do something like show you my grandma's fudge recipe on camera. Things like that for Christmas, but right now it's time to sit in the light. It's time to be ready to see the star, to be the star, to be the love to everyone this season. Do it. Make cookies for those you love. Make, make cookies for those you don't. Do that. So for now, I'm going to sign off. I, do, I want this to be a little bit shorter than it is because you know what? I want you to tune in every time. I want you to have the time to take the message in every, every day of Advent. For now, be the light. Be the star. Be the first responder in love. You know, sort of like the shepherds were. They responded right away. Don't be crappy. Be happy. Be the light. Eddie loves you. Bye-bye. Oh, you know the ticket. Remember to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thank you.